Hey y'all, Brian Thacker, Natural Self Yoga. Here I am, 30 day Dharma Wheel Challenge. Day number 13. 13 or 13, however you want to do it. 13. It's a big solar, f solar farm here at uh, a company that's uh, known for doing, turning plastics into fabrics. So it's a great eco-friendly place out here in North Carolina. North Carolina is actually known as one of the leading states for solar panels in America. So there's lots of these solar farms. You'll hear a lot of noise. The plant is back behind you here. Trucks are coming in all the time. Day 13, back feels good. Worked all day today again, starting at 4 a.m. So I look forward to uh, being able to get into a regular asana practice in addition to this, which I will in the last half of this yoga wheel practice. But I am grateful to have done this practice with this yoga wheel during the time that I had to take a couple of weeks and do some insurance stuff. Because my back bends have not gotten worse. My back my back bends are fine. So when I get back to the mat, I'm going to have to work on my core strength. I'm going to have to work on my arm strength. I'm going to have to work on my flexibility and my hips. Probably my hamstrings are going to be really tight getting back on the mat. But one thing that I know I'm not going to have to work on is the back bends. It's not that I'm not going to have to work on them, actually. You always have to work on everything. But it, it won't have it won't have gotten worse. So actually my back bends are a little bit better now. Even just doing this for 10 minutes a day. Again, make sure that you warm up. Make sure that you drink a lot of water and fluid. And if you're on day 13 doing this with me, take care of yourself. Make sure not to hurt your spine. Just relax the muscles, find some opening. Had a really bad storm last night. That's why I had to do it inside. Oh, lots of problems with trees and power outages. But with these solar panels, there's less to worry about, especially locally generated electricity. If the electricity and the energy is developed here, then you don't have to worry about a power line that's down a half a mile or a mile away due to a strong wind or thunderstorm or tornado even. Once again, be gradual, be gentle, be kind to your body. and use this 10 minutes of your day on your yoga wheel to assess your spine, each vertebra, one vertebra at a time. I 
I miss my students, my yoga students. You always get sub, subs and I always encourage my students to take many different teachers, many different styles. Because that's what I did. I learned from a lot of teachers and a lot of styles. Again, back bending is my least naturally capable thing of doing. In other words, my body is very flexible, my hips are very flexible. I'm strong. But back bending is not something that's been easy for me ever. Oh, it's another beautiful October day. North Carolina. There is a little bit of a slope here. That's not too bad. Make sure you warm up. You will never be finished with yoga. You will never win yoga. There's nothing to finish and nothing to win. You're just gonna feel different parts of your body as your body opens, as your body changes, your body will age. You may have injuries, maybe injuries related to yoga, maybe injuries related to living. You'll gain weight, you'll lose weight, you'll be tired. You do yoga to figure out what's going on as all that happens. Taking as good a care of your body as you can. Finding openings where possible. starting to get away from me a little bit here. <laughs> That's the hazard of doing this on a slope.
There's nothing to prove in yoga. Get in the habit of being in the habit of different things. And be in the habit of doing things without expectation of outcome. Don't just do things because you expect to gain stuff. You know, make somebody smile. <laughs>